We're Lara and Brian, also known as a couple of Quins. We love our city of Dayton, old houses, and dogs. We're currently putting the finishing touches on our most recent project. We've nicknamed it The Fed. We hope you'll follow along to see what's next. What is the name of the house? Cox the Mansion, house. officially. Okay, that's what I've been calling it. They have the build date is 1905. Okay. And then, like, the story that I heard when I first got the home was that Governor Cox leased it, lived here until, like, 1912 when he ran for governor, and he built the carriage house and installed a first-class water system. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to the historian at the library who said the home was actually built, like, 1895 by the Bishop family. They lived in it for a few years and then leased it to Governor Cox. So he wasn't actually the first person to live here, and he only leased it, but he did build the carriage house in. So okay. So that's his his claim on the, yeah. on the home. Yeah, made his mark. But uh, Cox Mansion stuck, I guess, and uh, that's what they call it today. So we're out here on the front porch, and it looks like you've rebuilt part of it, at least, the foundation, the structure. We dug it. the foundation, put in the new joists, and uh, I've been looking for a good price, I want to get like the Azek Timber Tech kind of like okay. and groove porch decking, and I'm looking for like a second hand because it's a few thousand and I want to save money. But if I can't find it for a good price, I'm just going to put down regular deck boards and be done with it. Okay. Up top, I had a lot of rot. There was a flat roof here, um, so water was just coming down. They didn't have any drain. It just went out the the top of the roof and then into the the driveway. It just like stuck out. So are you going to rebuild these? He, so like, like there's a missing one there. He's in the basement. He was just loose, so I, I took him so no one walked away with him. But, okay. Uh, the plan, because the columns themselves are still pretty sturdy, I think what I'm going to do is cut just like a couple inches here, and then I'm going to leave all the bases. That'll make them just a little bit higher. Okay. Um, and then put them all back. So this is the, the front room, atrium, I, I guess I like to call it. I, I don't know if there's a, a formal name. Uh, replaced the whole ceiling. Um, it was just all, a lot of the plaster that the home had shifted so much. And I've seen other homes around the area and their, their walls are still rock hard. That just wasn't the case here. <laughs> Basically, I would say it was like 10%, 15% of the plaster that was savable. And I saved that in here. Um, if you take a quick look in the turret, this goes all the way up to the third floor. But since it was curved, I didn't really want to mess with that. So. I spent a lot of time trying to save this. I did redo the ceiling. That makes um, sense. Yeah, it looks, and hopefully, so I still have the crown molding for this room. Some of it was pretty rotted, so I don't know if I'm gonna patch in or maybe cut out a section, like maybe do something different about the fireplace just mm -hmm. uh, so I can patch that in somewhere else. Um, but right above in this corner, can't tell now, but uh, there was just a giant hole going all the way out to the outside um, by the window there, and it just water was coming down for, oh for years and years. So that's why this is all ripped up. This was all rotted. You can see on the bottom of the door, still rotted. The HVAC oh, duct yeah. was is here behind the slatter. Oh, I had to rerun. That just rotted away. Um, Are you going to try to keep this and restore it, or what's the plan? So for that? I'm not sure on the door. 
It's got panels, so I might pull out just like the bottom few panels and then replace those, or I might sand it and try and do wood filler or some. I'm still thinking on, <laughs> on the door, but it's going to stay. You have time to decide. Yeah. So this was one of the studs to the right of the front door. Oh, wow. So this was what I was dealing with before, and you know. It, Oh my goodness, I love <laughs> I've never, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Tell us a little bit of the story of how you came to be the owner of this property. So I was looking for a home and I couldn't really find one that I liked. And then uh, my dad sends me an email and he's like, Chris, you should check out, check out this, uh, this article. You know, someone's giving away a house in uh, uh, Dayton View. And I was like, no way, okay, like, I'll take a look. And I, I wanted like a big fixer upper, like something that okay. would be like cool. Um, and I don't have any experience rehabbing homes, you know, I could swing a hammer. So I have an uncle who fixes homes, uh, in the Dayton area. He rents them out. He basically has all the know-how. So okay. I went to him. I was like, Hey, uncle Paul, like, I don't know the first thing about houses. You've been doing this for 30 years. I want to put in a bid for this home. Can you help me out? And he's been with me every step of the way since then. Okay. But. So I put in the application, I had a big binder, I got references, I had pictures of like past work that I'd done with him just to show that, you know, we, nice. we, we can do this type of I had heard that they were very impressed. I think people see like, whoa, look at these big gorgeous homes and then they don't... Dayton's so cheap. And like, and I kind of <laughs> yeah. fell, fell yeah. afraid of that too. I was like, wow, look at this big gorgeous home. I was like, I'll be done in like a year, 10 months. And then uh, here I am two years later, I'm like, holy cow, like, <laughs> a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So what's your timeline for the house? Do you have a plan as to when you want to be finished or when you hope to move in? Hopefully this winter I have the whole first floor livable um, and then I'm going to jump ship to, to the front porch because um, I'm breaking a few city ordinance violations. Uh, so I've, I've gotten a few letters so I'm going to do that to keep them happy um, <laughs> and then hopefully I'll, I'll get to the carriage house probably just because that's pretty, pretty yeah, rough. Yeah, that there. project looks huge and that's yeah stuff. it's like a small house again in the backyard so we're just off the entry so this is the what do you living call room? this room living room this will be living room dining room okay. um formally i think it would be a dining room when i moved in uh this might become the living room because i'd like to use the room over there for an office okay um i looked online uh because i didn't know like what this was for all this woodwork and uh I posted it on Reddit actually, and I'm like, what is this thing? They have a, a subreddit, and someone said it was an Edwardian side table. Okay. Um, so basically, it would have been like a bar, and then this space underneath here would have held like an ice chest of some sort that would have matched the woodworking. So, but that's mm. that's long. That long. makes sense. I could definitely see a bar being here. Yeah. You could add and that in again when it's your living room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the bottles in front of the mirror, it was like beautiful. And, you know, and that's like, like the, the walls weren't good, the plumbing wasn't good, the oven tube wasn't good, but like the woodworking stayed nice. And, yeah. And for that, I'm super grateful. It really is beautiful. The yeah. staircase when you walk yeah. in, that little nook. Around the, the fireplaces, and like that's all good. And like for that, I was so thankful. And I guess, too, maybe, uh, We'll go back to, to this one because it's kind of hard now to, you know, because everything's open. But when I first got here, there's two layers of carpet. Everything's kind of crumbling. There's a big hole here. These were all walled off. So now, like, I have mm. these, these pocket doors that I got the trap. Hold on. Let's see if we can pull him out. So, you know. Did you do that yourself? The ringing? Yeah, I redid the track here in the back. You might need your help on that. Okay. <laughs> it didn't look pretty, but it works. Um, so I, I was happy with it. Um, but this was all walled in. You can kind of still see some of where they had the, the door here. So was it only accessible through that door? Or was so they, they had like then just a, a standard sized door right in the middle. So you would Why? walk in. And, so for like in the 1970s, I think it was, uh, Haas Realty owned the home. Okay. Um, and they ran it as a real estate office. So this was an office, that was an office. Uh, someone said that they did signings and closings in there. They had these big glass doors. This was all walled off. Okay. Um, all but it's like, it would have been so much prettier even as an office just to have the pocket doors. But honestly, them walling off the pocket doors was kind of a blessing because 
they stayed in pretty good shape. That's true. So this is going to be your office? That's the, yeah, kind of okay. the plan. Um, and Lord knows if I ever get the gas fireplace working again, but I kind of set, set it up to, to maybe tinker with down the line. Um, wow, yeah, this is in pretty good condition. Is this a million, like, like this. bird's eye maple? <sighs> I'm not sure. It looks like it, but it has I'm a not awesome the curve. Too. Yeah, I <laughs> When it comes to architecture, woodworking, I, I still got a long way to go when it comes to, to knowledge. I um, love this too, this kind of pink color. Looks yeah, good with the cherub. Oh yeah. It's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this might be birds I maple, and it's on all of the trim. The base boards, even these doors are all the same. The lighter color has kind of that light gold color. Yeah. My parents have a bedroom suit um, that's bird's eye maple. That's the oh, only reason okay. why I know. I was what like, oh, sounds pretty, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Pretty um, good. And there was a, a bathroom in this room that they had added on that I, I took off just okay. to, to give it a little more space. Yeah. This little space is amazing. Like, yeah. Do you know like the history on that? Like what? No. Can I get in here? That angle like, look. Yeah, so there's a window to the back there. Oh, that's is, what it is? It's kind of weird. I saw that in there and I didn't know if it was like a pass through to another Yeah, room. I, and there was a door. I mean, there must have been because they have the hinges, yeah. but it's it's missing. Yeah. Maybe it was like drive-by confessions. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's like tucked in the corner. It's like a weird, <laughs> a lot of the stuff. Like the home is gorgeous and beautiful, but there is like a lot of like design features that just like don't really make sense. Right. Just don't add up. And even when I when I dug yeah. into here and replaced these the joists that were rotted, they like things were just floating. Like they they were just a lot of stuffs just toenailed in. They didn't really have any supports. But uh, I guess it, it lasted uh, 120 years, so they, they must have known what they were doing. <laughs> Do you have all the original tiles? No. Or? So I'm missing just a handful. And I don't think I'll be able to, and I've been looking, I look on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace all the time. Hopefully something comes up that, that'll match. But if not, I'm just gonna probably take it all out, clean it up as best I can, put it all back in, and then do like a border right along the end. And then keep that would work. Else. Yeah. All right, I am dying to know. I've been standing here looking at this. What do we got? Do you think one of these was replaced or were they always like this? Because like this side's different than this railing. I bet these are newer. Like I, a lot of stuff just doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> and I've just come to accept it and love it. And yeah, I mean, I love it anyway. This is my favorite part. I love that it looks like trees. Yeah, you just don't see, branches. you don't see that in any new homes and it, I don't know, I'm just, yeah. Back to the woodwork again, I, I keep saying it, but I'm just so happy that it's, it's all still there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's got its things, I think they had, a switch or like a doorbell buzzer here or something. This, I don't really understand how that happens. Just a hmm. giant, and there's one on the other side too. Um, yeah. But that's okay. That's strange. Yeah, it seems like there, somebody was trying to get in there for some reason. Yeah, but why like, such a giant hole? Yeah, I, <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the great thing about old houses is there's always these mysteries and it's kind of fun to make up your own story. story yeah. I love this. And I love that you can see this when you're down there looking up. Yeah, it's... It's a nice focal point. It opens okay and like... So a lot of this stuff I, I figure rather than messing with it, I'll just clean it up and keep it looking oh, yeah. as it is. Here it yeah, gets. It's a working mess, so... So bear with me. I've kind of turned upstairs into my my storage. Oh, that's um, gorgeous. But the, the fireplace looks great. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been working on the. That looks like rookwood tile for sure around that fireplace. Yeah, it's super. This is all here, really. So. So is this going to be the master bedroom or? So um, originally I was thinking this was master was going to be the master bedroom because it had the, the biggest closet and the nice fireplace. But I did a little like layout change uh, with the rooms, so the, the master is now going to be at the end of the hall. Um, and you can't really tell now, but all the the three there are three bedrooms on the front of the house and one on the back of the house, and they 
All three of them had doors in between the rooms and doors into the hallway. So I removed the doors there. You can kind of still see the, the top of the outline. Mm -hmm. Are you going to strip all the baseboards? Yeah. So basically all the woodwork at this point, the plan is to just strip it all. Uh, my mom's been working up here, so she's, she's been getting through all this. Thing. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I saw that all of this back here is done. Yeah. For the most part. And basically, I'm just going to, all that, because there's so much just gunk on it that it's almost easy to just start fresh. It looks good. I don't have to, you know, worry about cracking or a bunch of, like, the alligator skin print, like, hanging out. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You and, have that going on down here. And that's like the kind of thing, like, if I could just, if I did like a quick sand and paint it over, you know, it might be done in a day, but I just want to make sure it looks nice and that nobody in my lifetime has to come in here and, and redo it after I'm done. Yeah. So, you do it right the first time around and you never have to worry about it again. Yeah. Hopefully it'll last another hundred years. We didn't go back that way, did we? No, so that's going to be the kitchen. There's a butler pantry over here and then okay. another bathroom. So. so that's why this feels bigger. I was like, wait, there's this whole other yeah, part of the house. It, it's kind of tucked away back there, but there's uh, there's another stairwell too, the, the servant stairwell that, that we can take. Um, okay. So was this piece of furniture here? That was, yeah, that one's original um, to the home. It was, it was a psychiatrist's office or a therapist's office somewhere along the way. Um, so I don't know if you know can. that thing has heard some stories. Yeah, <laughs> so I kept it. I think I'll eventually I'll, I'll get it refinished and cleaned up because I thought it was awesome. just a yeah. neat piece. Yeah, I think so. you should keep that. Okay, this so you took out the door here. Another door there and there you can kind of see the outline. Gotcha. Just to give proper rooms. So, and here I didn't rip out the plaster ceilings. I just went over them because that. Saved me a lot of headache. Oh, we ripping out the, the walls were bad, but the ceiling is just falling on your face the whole time, and it's miserable. And right. Like, yeah, I mean, as long as you get the screws through to this, the the uh, joists. Yeah, no, they were they were a lot. It, it was a lot of sink. Yeah, I, I guess I missed one there. I got got to go back. So. <laughs> <laughs> my walls are in. My electrics in. I'm hoping that things will start to pick up. For me and mm -hmm. i'll start seeing a lot more results more quickly because it's like two years and it's like oh you rip down a wall and put a wall back up so it's like you can't really see a difference but there's a lot that went on behind the scenes oh yeah so it's all new electrical everywhere yeah so i've been doing all that and all new plumbing and wow so is this going to be the master so this the, the new, new plan is and this was, was sharon's idea which i really like okay um do like a bed here, TV dresser, whatever. This door wasn't original, so it was just flat wall all the way across. I still have some work on this guy, but come in. This was originally the the bathroom for all three other bedrooms. So you okay. can see the, the doorway there. That came out. The new plan basically is like a double vanity here. Uh, I'll do a toilet over there in the corner. Um, and then you'll come in, and then this was its own standalone bedroom. Like, so this is a closet that you're walking through now. Okay. So this got ripped out. Wow. You'll come in, um, and you can kind of see the layout. I redid the floor in here just before I put up a wall. So this is still going to be master bath, part of the master bath. That'll be master shower. I'll, I'll pile that all in. And then in here is going to be the master closet. And my divide, so I'll like an L basically just here, cutting off right to the wall. Okay. Um, so this will all be closet and master, and then this becomes the hall bath. Okay. Now they're two bedrooms. So. That makes it a very luxurious master suite, and one that's kind of expected in a modern home. Oh, of this yeah. Size. Which is big if I, if I ever want to sell it down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, here. Um, the Bishop family that built it, they have their W.W. Bishop papered the paper, November 22nd, 1915. So that was kind wow. of neat. Yeah, to Chris scraped off the paper 20, <laughs> 2020. <laughs> what, what did the wallpaper look like? Do you have any of it left? Um, No, but it was so, because they just painted over everything. Oh, okay. I couldn't really tell. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. I did have these spindles made because there was no way I was going to be able to go to look. 
Is that what's sitting in the Yeah, room? so they okay. just had like uh, basically a sheet of plywood over it and had just stained it to, to kind of match. So I ripped that out and I'm gonna put those back in, so. You gonna get these remade? I, didn't I wanna... feel like there's probably was one. Was a matching, yeah. On these ends, that would look really cool. Or if nothing else, find weird little urns. Urns or, or something, them. yeah. I... <laughs> It would be a cheaper way of doing it. Yeah, I like cheap. <laughs> that is a little messy, so I haven't done a whole lot up there. Um, so this is back staircase. Okay. Going down. Um, and there's that porch that's a little precarious, so we'll, we'll stay. So we can't put them all up. Oh. It's a really cute little door. Yes, it'll be nice to have a little balcony here. Mm -hmm. Um, Are these raccoon prints? Yeah, I got a family. <laughs> here, so they went through my fridge like three days ago oh, and then no. left the door open and everything melted and it was no fun. This leaked all over the floor and we cleaned it up. So this would have been uh, like this was a room. Um, I guess I was talking to one of the neighbors and said it, it was uh, they used it as a playroom for a while. So that okay. explains the. The yeah. <laughs> I imagine this room could be very, very cute. Right now, it's kind of like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little it spooky. It just looks but... like the maid's room. Like, yeah, just put them in there. This is cool. I like it's like a perfect clipping of a gym bicycle. Yeah, I think yeah. this is the one that was a uh, box. I think it was for a grandfather clock, it says. Too bad the clock's not still here. Yeah, I yeah. wish. Yeah. Let's keep moving on. All right. Yeah, watch, watch your step up here. Well. So, so what's what? your plan for this space? Anything? Short term, no. Long term, maybe. Um, it would be nice to have this as like a livable space just because it's so big and it has a, come this way, a, a lockout. I'm just standing here looking at your money. Yeah. Twenty six bucks. Just it's just filled with <laughs> stuff. From nineteen forty seven. Yeah, and, and I poked around a little bit up here. What are the checks? Is that yeah. Paper? Some kind of a check. They I wonder just, if this means it was already cashed. I don't know. Oh yeah. But just I don't know. All just sorts see. of uh, paper stuff. Yeah, this is Markets right there, which just got put in. Yeah, which is awesome. That. Yeah, it's sweet. I, they did a really good job with it. I was yeah. super impressed. Look how cute this door is. I didn't notice this on there. I won't lock us out here. Oh, you're. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cute little door. It feels like a uh, door that would be on an old ship. Yeah. Uh, just because it's down into the boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little steep. So. Oh. This uh, scale you know, that probably ran like a hundred feet of wire to get it because it was an afterthought. And there was no oh wow! So it went all the way up to the attic, all the way down to the basement, and all the way back down. Oh, uh, this looks pretty. Here's the kitchen. Yeah, this is probably the most, well, by far the most finished room uh, in the house. Uh, I still have one more coat of poly to go on the floor and the sand bit, but uh, I was super happy. This is the first, yeah. I guess I sanded that one up. That was my first one. So this is my, the second floor I've ever done, but uh, my brother helped me on it and my uncle showed me how, how to do it and turn me loose and uh, it turned out okay. So, so the, the sashes are out. Uh, my uncle, he has like a glass cutter, so I've been learning glazing. Um, oh, wow. I've been doing that, so hopefully. Uh, yeah, so that you're turns really doing okay. a lot of the stuff yourself. I also saw on Instagram that you're building some of your own duct work. Yeah, so basically, like, my uncle, he'll come here, he'll show me, like, hey, Chris, this is how you, like, wire a box, or this is how you, you know, do, do the plumbing. And then I'll say, okay, I'll turn you loose. And then I'll come back in a couple of days like, what are you doing? Like, this is how you do it. 
do it, and then I'll fix it, and I'll help me, and then you know, I move on, and I learn, and I get better. But yeah, he's had he has a couple workers that came here for a little bit just to like kind of like show me when I first started drywalling and like the painting and the electrical. Um, but now I'm, I'm kind of at the point where it's just it's all me, so which is great, and I'm. It's like off because like before the things would take me hours and hours because I was learning and redoing it and now like I'm good enough where it doesn't take me a long time to do a lot of stuff and I can mm. get it right on the first time and I still make a lot of mistakes don't get me wrong but, uh, it's yeah. a lot it's all a learning curve all right so what's the layout gonna be in here is this stove with a hood okay so the stove here with the hood um, cabinets on each side um, over here is gonna be the sink okay right here underneath the window um we'll have to cut in a little bit to, to catch because that's a little bit lower um dishwasher upper cabinets here we're going to do a fridge with uh built-ins this wall was like horrible and i messed up and i forgot we were doing built-ins and i spent like hours putting in these two electrical outlets that i just don't even need and i'm like yeah, it was feel like I had to like cut into the cement wall and run the wire with oh. the tubes in it. Well, maybe there's a way to still incorporate it. Yeah. yeah. And then in the center, we'll have like a little just uh, like a table and uh, some chairs tucked in. Okay. So like the square microwaves. Built it. Yeah, I'm not sure where the microwave's gonna go. I, that. Uh, I mean, yeah. Go I in. Mean, I do not get yeah, the outlet. Like that. <laughs> that might be the winner. <laughs> First floor bathroom. I just keep the brick wall like this. I don't know if there's like a gloss or something I can paint over it just to hold it all in. Um, Probably. So I'm looking for that right now. Okay, that would be really pretty. I know they would never have this originally. But no. I think it's beautiful. But I liked it, and like, cause there's a brick wall in the butler's pantry that I went over and to just redo to get drywall to hang on it was such a pain. Mm. Um, oh, and this is surprisingly in good shape. Yeah, I, my buddy That's cleaned beautiful. this up for me, which was nice. So it, it was a, a little rougher, but yeah, it turned out really nice. And uh, so just we'll have like a pedestal sink here is the plan, toilet, and this will be like a first floor closet, just because there's not really any place for like the vacuum, the brooms, and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this room's pretty, pretty close. I like it. Here's Butler. I just put in my last sheet of drywall uh, last night. All right. So, yeah, I was Ooh. I was happy. So there's gonna be a sink in here too. Yeah. So this is gonna be. So I'll have that whole kitchen, and then I'm gonna make this like a, just like a, do a little bar sink and then okay. countertops, countertops up top, and then I'm gonna have like a little breakfast nook here, with just two chairs or built-in seats or something like that. Um, and then this will be wallpaper too. Okay. Here. I'm always on board with wallpaper. Wallpaper? Okay. Yeah, it's tough to paint though. There's a lot of choices. Huh? So, and then here, this is like one of the other pantry doors, and they had oh, another cool. one there that was pretty rough. So, I just kept him and cleaned him down, and he was working. I was like, because he's still not perfect, but I don't really want to mess with the hardware because it's like it's been there 125 years. I'm afraid if I touch this, I'm going to break something, and I'm not going to be able to replace it, and I'm going to be screwed. So, I just. Let it ride, but it's been working. I'm happy. Wow. Yeah, I love that. All right, back out to the and back into the dining room. room. an even better spot for a bar because then you're gonna have the bar sink right sink, there. Yeah. yeah full circle put glasses in here oh yeah oh yeah the uh ultimate setup for entertainment yeah i know it's it's gonna be crazy Food. Food. like it's still like kind of like surreal like oh wow this is mine there's a lot of space. Yeah. Like, what am I gonna do with it all? When it's all finished, it's gonna be a very fancy house. Yeah, that's, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, so yeah. where are the raccoons getting in? Are they getting in? Oh, I take your pick. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they could be anywhere. And then now they, they've been in my fridge. They rip open like the granola bars and oh, stuff. Yeah. And so. yeah, they'll get into everything. I'm gonna get a trap of it eventually. <laughs> 
<laughs> for now, yeah, I'm just letting Truck him Truck him out. Maybe he'll pay rent or something. All right, well, should we venture out to the carriage house? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the carriage house. Maybe it should. Ignorance is bliss, right? Because I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh my gosh. And like originally I wanted to get to it a lot sooner because like doing the foundation here was just to cut this out, dig it, pour it all, was just weeks and weeks and weeks of work. Um, and then I just kind of fell, fell to the side. Um, but really, what's it going to Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a lot. I'm not going to Wow. So, yeah. So do you have a goal timeline for this? Are you wanting to like do the house first, get settled in, and then maybe? I'd like to take care of it before it gets really bad or like somebody, God forbid, comes in and gets hurt or something like that. So basically finish the first floor, get it livable, front porch, and then uh, I'm coming out here. And it looks scary, but like, I have a bunch of wood there now blocking it, but uh, you could go up uh, upstairs and there's like a little room. Um, and that was sturdy enough that when I first got it, I could walk. Mm -hmm. Some guy came by just to take out the house and he's like, oh yeah, there's a carriage house for that. Uh, that thing was leaning 30 years ago. And I was like, oh, it's still leaning. <laughs> Don't worry. So what color are you gonna keep the outside? Are you gonna keep it this blue color? No, um, so right now the plan is like, I can send you guys a all the colors, but I think it's like a uh, alabaster maybe? No, that's the, the trim. It's gonna be okay. gray. It's like a light gray. Okay. And I think when I, I'll pressure wash it all and hopefully make It'll it a It'll a lot more color yeah. will come out. Yeah. So. And it's been like, I have one picture, the whole house is brown. Um, and then on the shingles, it's been red and green too, as far as I mm. can tell. It was like, a, like almost like a barn red. Okay. Which would have been really something. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Cox Mansion.